same kayaker finds an abandoned ghost ship and actually goes inside. For most, kayaking goes something like this. You rent a kayak from a dirty beachside hovel, lug it out to the water and spend about 45 sweat-filled minutes trying to coordinate paddle strokes until ultimately you just park it on a sandbar and tan. For the experts among us though, kayaks can be fantastic tools for seafaring exploration. Agile and able to generate some serious speed, these vessels can navigate shallow waters and tight bends where a bigger boat might fail and that often leads to some awesome opportunities. Recently one man put his kayaking skills to work when he thought he saw an old ship floating not too far from the shore. What did he find? Keep watching to find out. If you can manage to get your paddling coordinated, kayaking can be either thrilling, relaxing or both at once. Kayaks are agile vessels perfect for navigating tight spaces, heavy currents or open waters which opens up a lot of opportunities for serious exploring. This is especially the case for kayakers in Romania where an old, decrepit ship named Empire Strength rests just off the coast in the Black Sea. It's not far from the communist era resort village of Costanesti and it's the perfect destination for those seeking adventure. On the side of the hull there's a small crack. You couldn't fit a boat inside but this experienced kayaker knew what could, his kayak of course. What would he find on the inside? The ship wore a coat of rust and dilapidation but this fearless explorer continued his journey into the hull. This wasn't a trip of total leisure. With sharp rusted edges and hidden pieces and parts lurking below the waters, this ship posed a potentially deadly threat to this kayaker. He needed to be extremely cautious. Furthermore, in an unstable structure like an old sunken ship, you never know what might be ready to come apart or crumble. Anything he touched could have nudged something out of place and brought down a portion of the wreck. This was no tanning trip to a sandbar. Using his hands instead of his paddle, the kayaker guided himself into the hull of the ship. The interior was dark, but luckily light poured through the cracks in the ship's exterior. Right away, he noticed that the inside wasn't in any better condition than the outside. What would his first full view of the interior look like? There was definitely an eerie vibe to the ship that time had worn down into looking like an evil villain's vaulted lair. Girders ribbed the walls and ceiling while enormous gears and pistons collected algae and rust. Commenters on the kayaker's original YouTube video relayed mixed feelings about his journey. Some were mesmerized by elements they spotted, as one commenter noted, I noticed the Harlan and Wolf logos cast into each of the giant frames of the six-cylinder diesel main engine. Possibly the whole ship was built by this famous British shipyard, the builders of the SS Titanic. Other commenters compared the ship's interior to a setting in a certain horror film and video game franchise, and some went so far as to say that they would never venture inside the ship themselves. However, most comments seemed upset that the guy had his feet hanging outside the kayak. Perhaps more interesting than the interior of this dilapidated ship, however, was the history of the ship itself. The ship spent years navigating waters all around the world before it was finally abandoned. The vessel actually served within the United Kingdom's Ministry of War Transport as an Empire ship. It was used for giving the country's wartime fleet a little extra oomph. These ships were either built or captured from enemies and they ranged from cargo liners and tankers to tugboats. Before and during World War II, the United Kingdom boasted the largest fleet of merchant ships, but the war claimed 4,000 of them. In the midst of the war, navigating the open waters was more complicated than fighting the tides. German U-boats and the Luftwaffe patrolled the water looking to sink enemy vessels. You probably couldn't tell from its current state, but this ship actually survived the fighting of World War II. Built in 1942 in a shipyard in Belfast, Northern Ireland, potentially confirming the previous YouTuber's comment that it was built by the same company that constructed the Titanic, the ship weighed 7,355 tons. Despite the glory of Empire Strength's appearance and apparent might, its role wasn't the most glamorous. It transported frozen meat from Argentina in 1944 and 1945, making at least three transatlantic crossings that featured stops at ports like North Africa, Algiers, Cuba and Australia. 
Just 26 years after it was built, Empire Strength, whose name at one point had been changed to MVE Evangelia, ran aground just 16 miles south of the largest port in the Black Sea in Constanta. The ship was unable to get moving and now defunct. It was abandoned and left floating in its current spot. After that, time chipped away at the ship, weathering the exterior and puncturing the hull. Locals raided the ship for anything of value, such as scrap metal. Once a purveyor frozen meats, the MVE Evangelia was reduced to nothing more than a few good photographs and exploratory opportunities. Still, the ship in its current state serves as a one-of-a-kind tourist attraction. Tourists sometimes brave the waters and swim out to the wreck, though that seems like a good way to cut your feet on a ship fragment. Hopefully, they have their tetanus shots. There's a way to get onto the deck according to one YouTube commenter, but it involves navigating rusty pipes and climbing up a rusty ladder to a dark windowless shaft. That seems, uh, safe? Yikes. This kayaker provided a peaceful journey through a piece of history. We're thankful he didn't take the trip to a nearby sandbar. Share this awesome ghost ship with your friends below.